Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mbarak and I will come you to our other class of learning how to manage databases using PHP admin interface. So in the previous class we learned how to insert data into the tables of database and also how to collect data from the tables of database. We went ahead and started the condition of where so today we're going to proceed from where from there and see how we can make that a uh, where section or the, the conditions much more complex or complicated than how it was in the basic way. So without wasting much time, let's go straight to the what to the business. So this is our database and this is our table that we are dealing with. So in the previous class we showed the equal sign where okay condition. So today we are going to look at the greater sign. Okay, for example, you want to get the people who I mean you want to get users who are having uh, greater than a specific age so how do you do that so to do that you just simply write your sql and say let me write it here and just simply say select all from users okay i mean all from practice uh then you put a where and then you specify the column for example we want to select all uh users who are having more than um, 20 years okay or having more than 20 years so to do that you just select all from users i mean from practice where uh age then you use this greater than sign to do for the greater for the greater sign where age is greater than uh 20. so it means it's going to get for us uh all the users who are having more than what more than 20 years so let's go ahead and run this SQL by just simply coming to our database and then click on SQL and then you're going to come here and paste. So when you paste, uh, then you'll be able to see, uh, we'll be able to see what? We'll be able to see uh, all the users who are having more than 20 years. So if you click, if you come here to the table, I mean to the column of uh, age, you see, we're having the users who are having more than, who, who are more than, 20 years if, if you go ahead and say who are more than uh, 30 years you'll see uh still will get a, a re the results of users who are more than 30 years so you see they are just uh, uh, eight users who are i mean they're just nine users who are more than 30 years you can see so those who are less than 30 years they have been left because they don't meet our what our condition so we can go ahead and do as well for the list. So I can say I want users. So I can duplicate this one. I select all rules from users where age is less than uh, 20. Okay. So it means that it's going to show us the users who are having age that is less than what? Less than 20. So I can go ahead and run that. You can see we're having only these use, two users. One who has 11 years. Another one who has, who, I mean, one who is 11 years and another one who is um 16 years so that is how you write the less than or the greater than sign uh, in what in in uh sql so this is less than or greater than so this is whereby you even include those one in the what in the margin for example if we say less than or equal to okay less than or equal to so i can go ahead then it means that if there is any user who has 20 years will also be included okay so there's no one who has 20 years let us see the age exactly the age for example uh let us say our users who are less than um who are less than what who are less than uh 23 years okay so to do that just simply say select all from users who are less than 23 years 23 okay so if we do like this you'll see we'll get three users there are three users who are less than 23 whereby 23 itself or any user who has 23 he was not included why because 23 is not is not is less is not it's is not less than 23 but it's equal to 23 so if you want to include the equal you just also if you want to include that margin you just simply add this one eh? uh less than or equal to you add that one okay so when you add that one, it means that you've also included the equal. So you see, even that one of 23 has been brought back. Okay. So you can go ahead and practice the greater than or equal to the not equal. And then let's go ahead and um, specify the range. Okay. 
let's go ahead and practice this between so this between will allow us to create a range for example we want to select users who are between specific age okay let us say that we want to select the users who are between 20 years okay and 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 40 so to do that we just simply say select uh select all from users where i mean sorry <laughs> select all from practice where age is where i'll read this between here age between and then is you open here bracket i put the minimum which is maybe uh 20 and then the maximum 30 okay so here we're going to get the users who are between 20 and 30 i hope that's the syntax come and write the a write the sql the sql between is not correct let me see how you write the sql between just forgot the syntax so this is how we write the between sql we don't put uh, the equal sign we just say where between 20 and then you put and like this and then 30 okay so you just say select from this where age between then you specify the minimum and then you put the and sign and then a maximum so it means that here it's going to get us uh, people who are having age that is between who are between 20 and what 20 and 30. so if i come here and run the sql you can see we've got the results of uh, people who have between 20 and 30 years with 20 inclusive okay so that is how we write the what the sql that can allow us to specify a condition in form of a what in form of a range you can also go ahead and play with it so we have another one called like this like is very very important it's very important we use it most of time to search for something so if you want to search for something we use this like okay so it will get a specific value and compare it if it has something like that then it will go ahead and get those values for example if you want to get um all the users who are having or who have names that are having letter a okay letter a okay let us say who have the name that having letter j a okay or letter a let us do like that so to do that who, who okay let us select the users whose name begin with letter a whose name begin with letter a to do that we use the like con the like clause so you just simply say select all from practice uh where and then you put what you want to search for example you're searching in two names so you can say name and then you put like like this like like this okay then after doing that now you specify uh put double quotes like this and then here between you specify what you're searching for so if you look for names or names which begin with letter a what you do you put a percentage sign okay you put a percentage sign and then you specify the letter that you want for example like this so it means that it's going to search all the names that are beginning with letter a this percentage sign means begin okay begin with what with letter a then this is the name the, the keyword that you want okay so if you do like this we can copy it and then we come and paste it here run the sql and then you'll see um i think it's supposed to be <laughs> at the end okay yeah it's supposed to be at the end so name that begin letter a that's how it should be written the other one was name that end with letter a so you can see you're having only one person whose name begins with the letter a this one means that begin with letter a and then following this equal sign means like the percentage sign means like the rest should be ignored so here it will get for us name that begin letter a so if we say name that begin letter j uh you can do like this so you come and run it sql run it so you see here we have two names that will begin with letter j still you can even search a part of string like you want name that begin letter j a 
So if you put here J A like this, then only names that begin with these particular uh, uh, characters, these particular characters, it's the, they are the only names that are going to do what? They're going to be displayed. So go ahead and uh, run the SQL, paste it there. So you can see we're having only one name that begins the letter J A. So if you want to start at the end of the string, like at the end of the string, for example, we want a names which begin with, uh, I mean, which end, which end with um, letter K, okay? For example, something like that. So to do that, you just put the equal sign, I mean, the, the percentage sign at the beginning, and then it means that this is like, do, 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 okay? And then end with K. So you can put here, this to replace these uh, dots, eh? you put replace them with what? With the percentage sign. So to do that, let's go ahead and copy and um, paste it uh, here. And what you'll see, we have only one name that ends with letter K. So it cannot be only names. You can even do the same on other uh, columns. Okay, you can even do the same on other columns by just simply changing here. For example, I can say country that end with letter A. Almost every count ends with letter A. So save and come and uh, run it here. Paste. You see, only users which have country or which are in the countries that end with letter A are the one that has been what displayed. Remember, we have only one other user who is some users who are from Burundi, but Burundi ends with letter I, so they were not displayed. So that is how we specify uh, the like. We use the like. It is very important. Then uh, the other important part is uh, the between. Eh? So if you want to search the user who is having uh, between. So here what we are going to do is just say anything that's having between and we're having these specific characters and then continues. So if we want to, like maybe to search anything that is having between, uh, in between it there is uh, this specific character or characters. What we do, we replace these percentages with the percentage sign and these dots also with the what? With the percentage sign. So what it's going to do is going to search anything that has this letter. Okay, anything that has this letter and then display it. So if we cut, copy, and then come and paste it. So it's going to search anything either in the middle or at the beginning. You see, it is displayed. So you see Burundi does not have letter A. Okay, so that it is not what it was not displayed. So if I come and write here, maybe paste and then write uh, run, run because there's no run in the word Burundi. So if I run it, uh, you see, Burundi has come. Why? Because it's having letter R U N between it. And the other countries like Rwanda, uh, Tanzania, and Kenya, they don't have R N U R U N. So you see. Only Burundi has come. So what does it mean? It means that if you want to search something that has between it, there is a specific condition that you're giving. You surround that thing with what? With a percentage sign. Okay. Surround that particular phrase or character or characters with a what? With a percentage sign. So that is how we do it. Okay. That is how we do it. So we can proceed. We can proceed to something else okay so you're going to go to now to the end so you can come and make sure and practice this one and then make sure that you understand it in fact this in should be a task for you just come and try and search for yourself what is meant by sql in and then uh, learn it teach it to yourself as uh, so that you should also be having that particular uh, skill of teaching yourself something so this is uh, where and then you specify in and then you specify here some phrases. So anything that is having uh, this in, what you've put in in will be listed. Okay, it's also another important thing. Okay, so just try it. I don't want to spoon feed you everything. Try it and teach yourself how you can do the in thing. So that is how it's done. Now let us proceed to the and condition. Okay, the and and or conditions so now sometimes we need to uh we need to combine our conditions for example i want 
to search all users in Uganda, but I want only female users in Uganda. So what does it mean? It means that I'm having already two conditions. I'm having two conditions and I need to bind them together. I want all the female users from Kenya. I want all the male users from Tanzania. So the first condition is specific country. The second condition is the what? Is the uh is the is 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 the sex part okay so let's go ahead and see how we can do that how we can combine two conditions together so we have two prepositions the first one is the o and the other one is the and for the and it means that both conditions must be qualified or must be met uh for those results to display and for the o means that uh one of the conditions should be correct for the result to appear off of the record to be displayed so let's go ahead and see and get uh where the users are specific and then you put the ant and then you see how you can specify for example now what's our target we want to get all the users who are from kenya and they are male okay so how do we do that we say select all from uh practice uh where uh country that's the first condition country equals to kenya that's the first condition so here at the, up to this point it means that we'll get for us all the kenya uh people all the people in what in kenya all the, the users in kenya and if we want now to put the condition the second condition okay so you put here and okay then you specify uh maybe uh six okay equals to male so it means here it's going to get for us all the kenyans but males or it means going to get us the male in kenya so that is how we combine conditions so let's go ahead so these are two conditions both of them combined together so let's go ahead and run this so i'll just simply come here to sql and then paste it there i run it so you can see we have got all the people in Kenya, but only male ones. Okay, so you can as well come and say maybe I want only female ones. Okay, so I can just simply say SQL, come and paste here. So you see, I'm getting only female users in Kenya. So that is how you combine the condition. You can even make it complex. You can say I want all the users in kenya that are having age that is greater than specific age greater than what maybe greater than 20. so it means that here is going to get for us all the kenyans who are more than 20. okay so i'll come here and write this sql here and then paste it here so you see only the kenyans only kenyans but who are more than 20 they're the one that has done what has displayed maybe i want only uh rwandans who are more than 20 so i'll just simply come and put here rwanda so don't just watch watch as you do what watch as you practice i hope you are understanding this point you can combine condition that's the whole point that you're trying to make you see these are rwandans who are more than 20 years you can even add more more condition for example i want only the male okay so on this condition you can still go and add another and okay and say uh six equals to uh male so it means that you are going to get all the users in rwanda that are more than 20 and that that are male okay so we're going to get male uh users who are more than 20 and they live in rwanda so those are the three conditions binded together so if i come and run the sql you will see that we have got only uh results or records that satisfy our condition the first condition it should be a rwandan okay so of course you see only rwandans in the country column the second condition you should be having age more than 20 you see on the column of age all of them they are more than 20. the third condition they should be uh they should be male and you can see 
they are all male so all the conditions are combining together you can still add more condition in case you want to but if you have no result then to show you no results or it should show you no column if the conditions are not met so that is how we do what that is how we write uh, conditions with and so and means that both all the condition must be met okay all the conditions must be met so we have another scenario where we need like one of the conditions should be met in order uh, for the results to show for example we want to get people who are both in uganda and what and rwanda so it means that you need either to be in uganda or to be in rwanda to show up so that one we use what we call the o okay we use what we call the o and then that o it is where we'll get um users why so either in rwanda or in, in in uganda so let's go ahead and do that so to do that just simply say select all from practice where a uh, country equals uganda so that's the first condition so that is the first condition and then you can say oh so what does o mean it means that as long as you one of these in one of these as long as you satisfy one of the conditions that we are going to provide then you'll be listed or country equals to kenya so what does it mean here we're going to get uh ugandans and kenyans okay select from country where I mean, select from uh, practice where country equals Uganda or equals Kenya. So as long as you satisfy one of these conditions, you will be displayed. If you don't, then you will not appear on the what on the records. So let's go ahead and run that. SQL. Paste it there. You can see we're having only two kinds of users: the Ugandan and Kenyans. Okay. We have Ugandan and Kenyans. So that is how we write the O part. Okay. Sometimes you need just as long as you satisfy one of the conditions, you, you should be listed. So that is when we use O. If you want both of the conditions to be satisfied for you to be listed, then you use the what? You use the and. So that is how we deal with what? With SQLs. So with that much said, now we can proceed. Uh, to something else so i will learn the where and then the and and o so the next thing that we're going to learn now is the order okay sometimes you need to do what you need to order you need to order okay maybe you want order in ascending or descending so if you want to order your results what you do you use what you call order by so let me go ahead and select all users and we order them according to the uh, age so i can simply say select all from uh practice uh then i say order by order by like this okay order by uh country i mean order by age and then say order is it order by age I forgot how to read the order by <laughs> order by age. Eh, is it? It's a, I don't know. I've forgotten how to write the order by. From or have not put the from. Okay, select uh, all from this order. Why am I suffering? I can as well click here and then you'll see the order by you see order by okay i've got it you say order by and then you specify uh the column that you want to order with for example you can say order by age and then you specify the order okay you specify the order so we have two types of order we have ascending and descending so if you want to order in ascending you just write ask like this if you want to order in descending you just write desk like this okay so let me order them ascending okay so what does it mean it means that you are going to get all the users but uh they are ordered by the age beginning from the youngest to the eldest okay so let's go ahead and run this sql by simply coming here and click on sql 
and then paste. So you can see we're having uh, users beginning from the age of what? Of uh, the youngest age. Okay. 11, 16, not according to the ID, but we have ordered them according to the what? The age beginning from the youngest. You can as well even order uh, in descending. So if you want to order in descending, you just simply put desk like this. Okay. You put descending like that. So by doing like that, we'll be able to get users who are ordered in descending order. So come there, paste. You can see the users who are ordered in descending way. So beginning from the top up to the bottom and beginning from the eldest up to the youngest. So that is how we order. That's how we order. You can order according to the names. For example, I want to order according to the alphabets of the names. Okay, so you just simply select all from users where the name, where name, I mean, sorry, order by name and then say ask. So here we're going to order ascending, as in ascending order or alphabetically. Okay, so come and paste. So you can see we're beginning from the A, B, then C, then D like that. And we are ordering according to name, not according to what? To IDs. So you can go ahead, pause the video and practice this order by. That is how we order. Okay, that is how we order. So uh, we stop from there in today's video. In the next video, we're going now to look at the update and how we can delete and how we can find the maximum, the minimum, the average. Ah, and then we can see how we can proceed from there. But I hope at this point you've understood how we can uh, select according to the order. I hope you've understood everything that we've covered here. Okay. But this is only possible if you watch as you practice. But if you watch like a movie, Hmm, then I doubt you may not get stuff. Okay, let us meet in the next video where we are going to look at um, how we can update now the records uh, using the what? Using SQL. So, see you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure uh, you turn on that notification. Make sure that you, you, you join in the next video. Just don't give up along the way, but make sure that you join the next video. So, that's it for today and goodbye.